Hi, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. My name is Dylan Switzerland, and we need to talk about Starfield, and we need to talk about Steam, and we need to talk about Bethesda. Now, there's a shit ton of topics on already on, on Starfield. There's so many videos about Starfield, about why the game is ass. You already got the clickbait videos that are like, why Starfield's actually a great game. That shit is not a great game, but we're, we're, let, let me get it. Let me just, let me show you something. Let me show you what, what a great game looks like. And no, it's not Fallout 4. And no, it's not Fallout 76. It's not either of those. And it's not Fallout 3. Anyway, the Steam Awards were today, or yesterday actually. And, you know, this isn't like a, a, a it's a user curated type thing. So it's it goes off how the users pick. They vote for like, what's the most innovative game? And what's the most the game with the best soundtrack and sound design and this that, and the other right and it's you know it's from votes by the users of people who you know use steam and i could go over all the other games that are in that category or in the steam awards but we're not going to talk about that because i don't know too much about those other games um besides Baldur's gate 3 i do know that Baldur's gate 3 is like literally just sweeping the awards of any kind of award they actually need to slow down they're taking every damn award but i'm pretty sure there's a good reason for that i know Baldur's gate 3 is a fantastic game um as an incredible storyline according to what people are talking about um i've never played it but it does look like something that i would eventually like want to get into because you know it's D, D style i've never played a D, D style game and you know you know it's a, a long storyline and, and immersiveness and uh, combat and strategy and things like that but let's get to let's just stay on the topic at hand the topic at hand is starfield and bethesda and 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 anybody that actually voted for steam if you voted for starfield to be the most innovative game game design of 2023 or on steam or just in general of the year you need to be mentally assessed i don't even care how you i don't care how you feel about this game that game does not deserve a single goddamn award for anything it's literally fallout 4 in space fallout 4 in space but it's a loading screen simulator dude how many times do we have to go over this topic like like who 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 what two million users or millions of users voted for starfield to have the most in, to be the most innovative game gameplay or game design of the that shit is copy paste fallout i'm getting a little triggered here but the reason why i'm getting triggered is because we have these games that come out that are really good, that are indie, or that aren't even indie, or just another game. Does Let's not even throw a label on it as far as indie or whatever. The point is, we have all these other games that come out that are much better. Better storyline, better graphics, better combat, better voice acting, better level design, better world design, better everything. And then somehow, we have these dog shit games like Starfield, Asfield, Midfield, literally taking awards. And I know it's just the uh, it's just the Steam Awards, like it's just the users voting for it. But how how whose ass were you eating to literally sit there and be like, oh yeah, Starfield is a fantastic game. The game it, it, it's boring. You land on a planet, there's nothing to do. There's nothing to do. Some whack ass biome, assess some rocks, look at some rocks, like. Like there's nothing to do. The, the the enemies, the AI, it's you're loading from everywhere. You get in the ship, you're loading. You leave your ship, you're loading. You enter a room on a planet, you're loading. You enter a building on a planet, you're loading. You go to a different star system, you're loading. If you want to play a good space exploration game, excuse me, if you want to play a great space exploration game, just play No Man's Sky. Literally, No Man's Sky. No loading screens. Literally jump in and traverse the universe that keeps rendering and rendering and you can play with other players. And there's actually a story there that's exciting. There's actually things to explore and it, and it makes it make sense that you explore them. If you want to play a good space game that has great space exploration and some sort of combat to it, don't play Starfield. Now, don't get me wrong. I love certain games that Bethesda has released. Like, I like the Elder Scrolls V. I like the Elder Scrolls Online. I like um even i don't think uh, bethesda worked on it. i think that was zenimax studios but whatever you get that you, you know what i'm trying to say okay fallout 3 was great um uh, there's some nostalgia that hits me there because i i got it and i used to be scared to play that game i was so terrified to play it because i didn't know what it was but it, it's not an rpg it, 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 it it's it's not an rpg an rpg is something like final fantasy uh 
Dragon's Dogma, Dogma. Uh, you get the idea. Like, that's not an RPG, bro. That is a, a space exploration shooter, sp spaceship combat, whatever. But it's not innovative. And let me just, let me, let me, uh, I have a hard time saying on point. The game is not innovative in the slightest. The game is not innovative in any way possible. There's minimal effort put into that game. There's copy paste combat system from Fallout 4. It's super linear with the story. It's nothing. There's literally nothing exciting, nothing innovative. The graphics engine is the engine for that game is so outdated. It's so it's ancient. It's dinosaur. It's fossil like and people are actually praising this game now. Yes, everything is subjective. Maybe you never played other Bethesda titles and you jumped into that and thought this is actually cool. That's cool. I'm kind of talking about people that have have experience playing Bethesda titles and RPGs in general and just gaming in general to be able to assess a good game from a bad game. Like why? Like why are we sitting here actually giving praise to like what? Like it doesn't make sense. There's nothing. Starfield is the most boring literally the most boring i downloaded that shit and i played it for like three hours and i was like turn this shit off boring even a side quest boring Ex there's it doesn't even feel exciting when you explore the galaxy the planet the conversations with npcs nothing feels exciting nothing feels immersive about the game it's 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 like a pile of horse shit there's and not every piece of content out of that game is just complete ass but a good 85% of it is ass. Like, it doesn't make any sense. And there's other games out there that deserve to get reckoned. Not even a fucking award. Don't even talk about awards and labeling. This game is the most this. Eh. Bro, just the game des getting more recognition. Yes, but that is a AAA studio. It's a big studio. Yeah, they make these iconic games. They've made some iconic games. But there's other games out there that deserve to be acknowledged in that category for in for being innovative. There's so many other cool games out there that deserve that. And it's like, how, why do they, why do these platforms keep giving these dog shit games, games that these developers put minimal effort into and they give them this, pr this praise and they put them on the featured page and the what's hot and the what's new and for you like, bro, no, that shit is not for anybody. That's no, like we, what, what? I don't get it. I don't get it. It's like a dog. It's. I was excited for the game, and I knew I knew that it was gonna have bugs and kinks and glitches and all that, right? Because what? But does the title doesn't? But this is like. There's a reason that the reviews on the game and the YouTube content on the game, people's opinions on the game, it's it's not good. It's not enjoyable. It may be enjoyable for like a newcomer, maybe that doesn't play those kind of games. So that's probably exciting for them. And I don't want to take that away from anybody, but from people that like play, but that's been playing, but that's a title since Morrowind, Oblivion, the Elder Scrolls four, you know, Elder Scrolls five, that's like have experience with what an RPG game is and what a good game is and what a good story is and what good combat design is and immersiveness and things like that. And how your choices really affect the, the outcome of the game towards the end, whether you're doing the main quest or the side quest come on now we gotta be for real at some point like what are y'all talking about like either that shit was botted like the way these fucking rappers be botting their streams that shit was like botted reviews on steam because there's no fucking way there's no i did i did i just spit i don't know there's no fucking way though there's no way dog like i know i'm complaining my blood pressure's like rising but dude this kind of shit is like and and again it's just the steam awards i don't know how serious people take that but it's like dude come on starfield is not great why are we acting like Starfield was the greatest shit from last year? There's indie games that came out to blow that hot dog shit out the water. That game is ass. I literally got sleepy playing the fucking game. I'm not even joking. I'm not even exaggerating. I was playing that shit and it was so boring that I was literally like... Like my eyes were getting heavy playing the game. And I was really excited to play it. Me and all my friends that I game with that I've known for years that I play all kinds of games with we were all excited for it. that shit came out and we were like what the fuck is this what happened what happened the long development of this game todd howard i'm not even gonna try to speak negative on you because i i don't i don't really know what goes on behind closed doors but i know it's not right
I know it's not right. And y'all need to y'all need to cut people stop the bullshit at some point. Like the game is the game is ass. The game is ass. There's nothing innovative about it. There's nothing innovative about it. There's literally not one piece of anything in there that's innovative. What? Customize a spaceship? Fly it around? Fucking boring ass. Like, and the the devs be on Twitter like, oh, well, exploring a real planet would be boring. Dog, it's a fucking video game. It's a video game. It's fiction. Make it interesting. Make it fun. Let there be a planet where there's a volcano erupting, but there's some sort of paranormal activity on the planet. There's some alien life that's on the planet that have to live on a temperatures above 130 degrees or they die. Like, make this shit interesting. Y'all literally half-assed that game. Completely half-assed that shit and charged people 70 to 80 the fucking whatever the fuck for the game. Are you kidding me? Y'all need y'all asses kicked. Whoever was in charge, whoever was in charge of saying, yeah, that shit's ready to go. What is the game? Yeah, we're going to green like that. All right, cool. No DLC, no expansion, bullshit. Just let it come out. People buying it left and right. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's it's fantastic. No, no, you're lying to yourself. You need to be mental. You need to be checked out, bro. You need to be assessed. You need to be shot with a tranquilizer dart and studied at the most prestigious medical university on the fucking planet if you actually thought starfield was an innovative game yes i'm yes i'm mad i'm mad and i i have a right to be mad as a gamer that's been fucking playing video games since i was four years old and have the the conscious and enough brain cells to process what an actual game that took time to make and create and was cared for to to, to assess what that looks like this shit don't make sense to me. It don't make sense. And it's just like, well, there you go. Like, Baldur's Gate is winning awards, but it should be winning awards. Because the developers gave a fuck about what they were creating when it came to the game. But Bethesda didn't give a shit about anything when they made that game. Maybe some people on the team did, but not everybody did. And they need their ass beat. They need to be put in power armor and thrown off a fucking building and, like, land meat dog meat and, like, fight a death flower. So I don't fucking know, but that's all i have to say for this video i just i don't understand you know i don't understand you know i don't understand but let me know what you guys think in the comments do you hate it did you love starfield if you do tell me why you loved it if you hate it tell me why you hate it i want to know but that's all for now I'm, I'm still working on two other videos so thank you guys for following along i'm sorry that i'm like all over the place but it just i really care about games i care about the experience i care about i care about what i'm about to jump into when i press start when I hit the main menu, when I press launch, when the download says such and such is finished downloading, let's go, let's jump in. But when you jump into some bullshit, when you jump in, when you jump waist deep into some horse shit, fresh horse shit, and you want to talk about innovation, you want to talk about this, that, and the other, why you're better than these other companies, what we're doing and taking our time on, kiss my ass. But that's all for the video. Let me stop fucking being in here hating or whatever, but... If you like the video, like it. If you don't like it, let me know in the comments that you hate it. If I look trash, let me know. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. <sighs> I'm going to go eat dinner. I'm out. <sighs>